What is going on everyone, I'm Adriano and this video is about how to install the AWS Data Wrangler Python library on a Lambda function through the AWS console. So unfortunately right off the bat if we try to import the AWS Data Wrangler library which is AWS Data Wrangler, if we run a test you're going to get a message saying we were unable to import the module, no module named AWS Data Wrangler. So to do this we're going to be following the exact instructions provided by the documentation and I'll provide a link in the description below. So first of all, you're going to want to go back to your Lambda function and make sure that the version we are downloading matches the runtime. So as you can see here in my runtime, my Python version is 3.8. So the first step is we're going to navigate to the Git repo, which has the file we want to download. So under each version of the library, we're going to see a set of AWS Data Wrangler layers. So we're going to make sure we download the right layer for the correct version. So as you saw, I was in version 3.8. So we're going to go ahead and download the Python 3.8 zip file here. Awesome. So once that finishes downloading, we can go ahead and navigate back to our Lambda function. We're going to go ahead and hit the three lines on our left hand side. We're going to go and navigate towards layers and we're going to go and create a new layer. So we're going to call this AWS data Wrangler and we can give it a description saying library for AWS data Wrangler. All right, so now it's asking for a zip file. We're going to go ahead and navigate to that zip file that we just downloaded. So as you can see here, it was the 3.8 and I'm going to hit open. So now we want to make sure we select the compatible runtime. So we're going to go to Python 3.8 and now we can hit create. All right, awesome. So now that we've created our layer, we can navigate back to the Lambda function that we want to run AWS Data Wrangler on. So mine was my test function. And now we have one more step to do before this works. So at the bottom of our page here, there is a section called layers. We're now gonna go to add layer and we're gonna hit custom layer. And now we're gonna choose AWS Data Wrangler. And we're gonna select the latest version that we've uploaded and hit add. All right, now we've successfully installed our layer and linked it to our Lambda function. Now we should have successfully installed it and we should be able to run our Lambda function successfully. So we should see that it has been successfully imported. So let's give that a run. And there you go. We got our response saying AWS Data Wrangler has been successfully imported. I hope you found this video helpful and you now know how to run AWS Data Wrangler in a Lambda function. Thanks so much for watching and if you think this video is helpful for others, please hit that like button. And if you want to learn more about AWS Data Wrangler, check out my AWS Data Wrangler playlist in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.